good morning dear students i am dr yab maruna kumari lecturer in botany at government degree college puttur chittur district today in this video lesson let us know about the plasma membrane that is present in the cell what is plasma membrane the limiting membrane of the cell organelles like mitochondria golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum nuclear membrane is known as cell membrane the cytoplasm that is present in both plant and animal cell is surrounded by the plasma membrane the cell membrane and plasma membrane are collectively known as biological membranes let us know about chemical composition of membranes membranes are mainly composed of lipoproteins that means with lipids and proteins the ratio of protein to lipid varies from 1 is to 0.8 to 1 is to 4 and it depends on the type of the cell and type of organism in addition to lipoproteins polysaccharides dna and rna have also been found in certain cases all these chemical components are held together in a thin film like pliable sheet of about 75 angstrom thickness in three concentric layers the middle layer is about 35 angstroms and outer layers on either side are 20 angstroms thick if we take lipids the lipids are the most common fats found in the membrane or phospholipids glycolipids and sterols all of them are amphipathic that is they have both hydrophilic and hydrophobic portions within a molecule the three important phospholipids are lecithin choline and cephalin that are made up of glycerol fatty acids phosphoric acid and a complex of sphingosine if we take proteins proteins represent the main and one of the significant fractions of plasma membrane there are three different types of proteins are present in the membrane they are structural proteins functional proteins carrier proteins structural proteins the name itself indicates they form the backbone of the membrane and are strongly lipophilic in nature the second one are functional proteins they are like enzymes that catalyze several physiological reactions and the third one are carrier proteins that bring about the diffusion of substances across the membrane that means they carry the substances across the membrane that's why they are carrier proteins so the proteins are here are three types structural functional and carrier proteins apart from lipids and proteins there are other constituents they are small amounts of polysaccharides sialic acid dna rna and traces of coenzymes porphyrins methyl ions etc are distributed in certain biological membranes carbohydrates of the membranes are usually located at the extracellular surface forming glycocalyx now let us know about the structure of the plasma membrane several cell biologists attempted to understand the molecular structure of the plasma membrane in various ways and proposed models for the same these models 
can be classified into two basic categories. They are bilayer models and micellar or subunit models. In the bilayer model, the proteins and lipids are arranged in the form of layers. While in micellar model, there is a presence of number of small and similar independent subunits in the plasma membrane. If we take one by one, the first model is lipid bilayer model. This lipid bilayer model was proposed by Gorter and Grindall in the year 1925. They concluded that the plasma membrane contained a bimolecular layer of lipids or simply a lipid bilayer. They also suggested that the polar groups of each molecular layer were directed towards the outside of the bilayer. After some investigations, it was thought that proteins were probably present in the membrane because these molecules contain charged groups. Before, they thought that this model will be with the lipid bilayer. So, this diagram clearly shows the plasma membrane of human erythrocytes showing lipid bilayer model. In this diagram, we can observe two surfaces of lipid bilayer. That is the outer, the interior surface and exterior surface and uh, we can observe clearly the lipid bilayer. That's why it is called lipid bilayer model. And the second model is Daniel Lee Davson model. This model was proposed by Daniel Lee and Davson in the year 1935. They studied the starfish egg membrane from the point of its surface tension. They proposed that the membrane consists of two layers of lipid molecules like bimolecular leaflet formed in such a way that the polar ends of the lipids facing outward and the hydrophobic ends are associated in the central region of the leaflet. The entire structure that consists of a double layer of lipid molecules sandwiched between two continuous layers of globular proteins. That means it just look like a sandwich. That means the outer layers uh, will be uh, two lipid layers, uh, two protein layers uh, sandwiched uh, between the lipid. So this we can observe in this diagram, Daniel Lee, Davson model of cell membrane. It's clearly shown that the outer layers are proteins, that the globular proteins, they are in round in structure, that's why they are called globular proteins. And uh, the in the middle, we can observe the lipid layers. So the lipid layers are sandwiched between two protein layers. So this is the model suggested by Daniel Lee and Davson. And the third model is unit membrane model. It was proposed by Robertson in the year 1957 after studying the membrane structure of Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum and nuclear envelope with the help of electron microscope. He found that all biological membranes appear to be made up of lipid layer having the thickness of 35 angstroms and a dense layers of 20 angstroms thickness present on either side. The two outer electron dense layers of proteins separated by the lighter middle layer of phospholipids together form a unit membrane. That's why this model is called unit membrane model. 
the unit membrane model is similar to Danielli Davson model except that the protein layers at the exterior and interior are different. The outer surface has mucoproteins while the inner surface proteins are non mucoid proteins. This is the main difference we can observe here. The membranes of cell organelles, plasma membrane and endoplasmic reticulum are thought to have unit membrane structure. But later on it has been shown that the arrangement of proteins and lipids is variable in different membranes. Hence this model cannot be considered as a representative structure. In this diagram it is clearly shown the unit membrane model, Robertson's unit membrane model. So the outer there are two types of proteins we can observe here the outer folded protein and the other one is globular protein. So the protein nature is different here but the lipid layers are same as usual. So this is called Robertson's unit membrane model. Let us move on to the fourth model that is the fluid mosaic model. This model was proposed by Singer and Nicholson in the year 1972. In this model, attention is focused on the physical state of the lipid bilayer. This is most important point to be noted. Here, the lipid molecules are present in a fluid state capable of rotating and moving laterally within the membrane. That means the proteins occur as a mosaic of discontinuous particles that penetrate deeply into the sea of lipid sheet. In a way, these protein particles resemble floating icebergs in the sea of lipids. So here the lipid is in liquid state and the proteins are just like icebergs floating in the sea of lipids. That's why this model is named as the fluid mosaic model. Thus the plasma membrane is a double layer of phospholipids with their polar ends away from one another and the globular molecules of proteins and sterols scattered in between. Integrated proteins penetrate lipid bilayer partially or wholly and project out from both the extracellular and cytoplasmic sites of the membrane. The globular peripheral proteins are loosely attached to the membrane lipids. So this is the fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane. Here it is very clearly seen that the lipid bilayer and the lipid is just like liquid or we can say it is just like ocean or sea and in the sea they are floating bodies or proteins. So this is boundary a lipid that is present uh, at the border and we can see different types of proteins like intrinsic proteins, extrinsic proteins and inside and outside the proteins are just like the bits of proteins are floating in the liquid of a lipid bilayer. So the bilayer also is clearly seen here. Uh, it is having hydro, uh, uh, two parts like tail and head. The tail is hydrophobic and the head is hydrophilic. As I have already said that it is having the amphipathic nature that we can observe here. So this is the fluid mosaic model of the plasma membrane. Let us move on to the fifth model, the Messelor model. In the year 1953, Hillary and Hoffman suggested that the membranes have a non-lamellar pattern consisting of 
globular subunits known as micelles. Each micelle is about 40 to 70 angstroms in diameter with a lipid core and a hydrophilic shell of polar groups. The lipid micelles are possible building blocks of membranes since they tend towards spontaneous association and dissociation. So this is the other model. That means in this model we can clearly observe the transformation of bilayer structure into globular micellar form. The first diagram shows the bi lipid bilayer model as we have seen all this time. The four models shows the outer two protein layers and in the middle are bilayer lipid layers. This is just they are plate like structures but in micellar model they are clearly seen like they have transformed the proteins, the lipids are in globular form. Globular lipid micelles and the outer layers are as usual proteins. So if we can observe the diagram this uh, structure just uh, looks like the wheels of a vehicle. So this is the uh, model uh, called micellar model and this is the latest model of the plasma membrane. So that's all about the plasma membrane. Thank you. Thank you dear students.